Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. I am the Dark Sarah. Well. How is everyone? Oh, Morgana's man. tired. Let's put Makoto in then. What are your thoughts? Let us be off. Well. How is everyone? Well. Yusuke is good. What are your thoughts? Okay, everyone's ready to go. Let's keep exploring. Let's go. Come on. Hey, that's a treasure chest. Oh. Let's do it. What do we have? A hero eye patch, physical ointment, and magical ointment. For some reason, I picture Yusuke with that hero eye patch. Reduces, evades physical. Ah, yeah, let's go with it. Better than some generic strength enhancement. A good dodge chance is what I need on you. Focus. Is there even anyone here going to stop me? Or am I fixing to run into a boss? Oh, yes, we found it's the treasure. But we haven't found any information about the mental collapses. That bothers me. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he's hiding it. We got this far. Wouldn't it be better to just squeeze the truth out of the guy? After we change his heart. That plan is fine by me. Let's send out the calling card and take his treasure then. You can decide when we do so. We got plenty of time, so I'm going to do a lot of preparation. Let's explore around just a little bit. I can see it. A broken telescope. I don't like the fact that I can't explore up there. I can That'd be it. something I'm missing. No. That's weird. Well, we found our treasure route. Well, you're correct. What are your thoughts? Right. There's nothing else What's for me to do. Moving. Turn to the real world. We... Yeah. Well, I need to do a lot of preparation. I'll hang out with some friends. I'll get, hopefully, an SP adhesive. Ah, you're back. Okay. Okay. Now then. We'll send it a few days before the deadline. Because I need to do a lot of preparation, hopefully get enough SP adhesive items. Might spend some time in mementos. Ah, I can get some reading. The Cry of Cthulhu. Hmm? Wow. Some HP Lovecraft shenanigans. Still lingering around Dauntless.
totem pole at the diner in Shibuya. Maybe for the way it looks. Mm. It's probably stacked like a totem pole. I'll have to do that. Oh, have you heard? Have, have you ever thought about... Have you ever thought your phone went off but nothing happened? Sometimes, although usually it's another person's phone. It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that phenomenon can be abbreviated, can be abbreviated to PBS. Well, let's get Google ready. Persistent vegetative state post viral fatigue. I'm gonna say it's post viral. I need an answer. Uh phone. Phantom vibration syndrome. Okay. Nice going. All right. Well, we've got time, so I'm gonna go turn that book and go get another one. Infiltration route secure. Decide later. I don't want to do that. So, no one's looking to hang out with me today. I guess that means I can go on to work. But first things first, I need to sell that shit I got in... Woman in Dark. The story of Milady, her changing faces helps to make you proficient. Might do the clinical trial. <laughs> Yo. Alright. I guess that's fine. I can go get an SP adhesive. You should be grateful. I need to go. I need to clean sure that. Be sure to choose actually. carefully. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. I don't want to get caught it's up not. in a racket. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. I'll give that to Haru. Anything in here that's just nah. Come again. Let's give it a try. A fruit ration. I thought I smelled something terrible. I'm gonna get that SP adhesive. Let me get the big SP adhesive for Joker. Please head to the exam room. You want a shot? This will work well. Here you go. Take care.
Uh, Morgana definitely needs the SP adhesive just so he can keep my party healthy. Please head to the exam room. Uh, maybe some music. I'm grateful. Okay, she liked the music. Actually, that'd be kind of nice to play in your Bye. whatever it's called. In your clinic to keep people calm. Ah, you're back. All kinds of chores. Uh, sure. Oh, Master. Hey. Well, let's five. Th How much is five thousand yen in American dollars? I don't think that's a lot of money. That doesn't sound like a lot. Yen to U.S. dollars. That's forty-six dollars. That is forty-six dollars and six cents. That is not a lot of money. Hmm. Maybe some perfume. Thanks. She liked it. Thank you for using our service. Takamaki, I gotta say this right now. With Takamaki, if you can get her chocolate or any kind of sweets, she will love you forever. That girl loves her sweets. Rush through all this. All right. Rick Specs. When I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. Awesome! It had spell the end of this country. The kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. Yeah, because clearly I want to be an underpaid teacher like you. With a brick for a face. Oh yeah, like you? Seraph. Why don't you try? Not all civil, civil, civil servants work in government offices. Which of these occupations is a civil one? Not gonna be a shaman. Sure as hell ain't no fisherman. I'm gonna say driver. Memorize this. Really? No I don't know Japanese history and I don't know Japanese culture. I know a little bit on Japanese culture, but not a lot. Go to the convenience store and make a little bit of money. Welcome. That's not great. Oh, but it cures status ailments. 
I'll take all that you- I'll take your entire stock! Welcome! Please! Mm. Hey! Wanna head back? Let's help out the boss man. Thanks. This man is like a boulder. He just will not bend. Let me love you, you old fucker. Morning! Not yet. I'm still doing prep. What? Well, dude, I gotta get prep. I gotta get items. I gotta get healing items. I gotta get... Money built up. Oh my god! They really want me to send that damn calling card. Let's go have a bite to eat. I'm curious about that totem pole. Yeah, if it's too high, I can just get some coffee and light around like a piece of shit. Proficient. Just eating this ice cream towel without it falling down makes you proficient. Okay, it's ice cream. Desire. Becky, not now. Not tonight. That idiot. Ugh. Hide. There you are. What do you think you're doing, making me look all over the place for you? Gee, what are you doing here? That's my line. Why isn't your phone on? Are you doing something you don't want me to find out about? Not at all. It looks like my battery ran out. I've been busy covering the Phantom Thief, so. Are you sure about that? I got a complaint from the higher-ups the other day. Apparently people have seen you snooping around recently in places unrelated to Phantom Thieves. What have you been doing, Oya? Oh, yeah. That's ridiculous. I've been hot on their trail lately. Who told them that? 
It doesn't matter who. The board's coming down hard for me on this. Hard on me for this. Now, don't make me ask you again. Why are you sneaking around behind the company's back? I, I'm honestly not. I just... She hasn't done anything wrong. Why are you lying to him? Isn't he a minor? Yep, that's why I'm being so discreet about it. Who knows what laws we might be breaking. We're not breaking any laws. Shut up! You're making it worse! I guess I'm keeping an our third thrist third trust. What? What is that word? What is that word? That word, right? Freaking there! What word is that? I'm looking it up. Looking it up. Thirst. A private romantic rendezvous between lovers. <gasps> you dirty old cougar! I guess keeping our thirst a secret is tougher than I expected. Maybe someone saw us somewhere. Or someone who specializes in fabricating articles. I'd expect you to be a better liar. <laughs> <laughs> I expect your resignation letter on my desk next week. If it doesn't come, I'll handle matters myself. Huh? So what? You decide I'm lying? That's that? Give it a rest already. I'm annoyed enough as if... As is for having to come track you down out here. Wait. We're totally dating, aren't we, sweeties? Sure, of course we are. Huh? <laughs> I'll bait around. I'll play into her game. See? Oh, and he's the one who asked me out. So don't go thinking I'm some kind of cradle robber. <laughs> How old is this woman? Are you blackmailing him? I mean, let's be honest. You don't have the physique to be attracting high school kids. I mean, she's attractive, but... Uh, Kind of skinny. Hey, that's sexual harassment. You're the one saying you're dating a minor. Don't go playing on the high, moral high ground. <laughs> and besides, our love is something that defies both age and logic. Major red flags going up in here, lady. Don't push it. Whatever. Just make sure you don't miss your deadlines. Of course, though. Can we go now? One more question. I could have sworn the reason you were sneaking around was so you could follow up on your old partner's case. What? Well... Our movies is about to start. Is that so? Ugh. I promise. You lost all credibility when you started sneaking around like this, but fine. I'll back off. But don't go pulling any funny stuff, okay? The board wants me to keep a close eye on you. You've been warned. Buddy! I'll kick your ass. Thanks. The guy is one that ex... 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 What the fuck are with these anagrams? What is that word?! Exec? Execs? I got is one of the execs over at my job. Executives. Okay, I've. Just say executive! Just say he's an executive! I don't get teen speak lingo pipster bullshit! He's a guy from Texas! Arrogant bastard, ain't he? He's the kind of guy all the girls at the bar would instantly turn down. Oh, gee, I wonder why. 
Anyway, that was a real surprise. Not only are you a ha a good source of info, you're not a half bad actor either. You're honestly the type of guy I would want to grab drinks with after work. Too bad you're underage. Yeah, you gotta be 20 in Japan to drink. Shocking Scoop. Delivers the same effect as Rumorfield Scoop, but a greater effect. I don't remember right. what that does. Don't go to any weird shops on your way home. And now I'm suave. All right. Well then. Yeah, that's. And now we're back to the winter Shots. uniforms. Yes, yes, he probably is. Let's just skip that. It's not important. I swear to God, if Ryushi forgets again, I'm gonna start laughing. Okay, fine. I'll go to the damn palace today. I'll send the fucking calling card if it makes you people happy. I got 10 days. Almost done. Let's go do this. Hold up. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? That's it. Doing the clinical trial. Don't rush me, okay? We have 10 days. We got over a week. We're fine, you spass, you stupid people. I suppose. An apple. Chief Oyamata. Doesn't look like a patient. Oh. He's a part time staffer. I'm having him handle some miscellaneous tasks for me. So, do you have some business with me? I hear you stole one of my patients, a girl with bronchitis. She came here with her father. <sighs> bronchitis, you say? Well, I have oh, I had no intention of taking her from you. I certainly didn't encourage her to visit my clinic. Now, there's talk that the care at the university hospital is in Now, there's talk that the care at university hospital is inferior to that of a general practitioner. Well, that's your problem, buddy. Original medicine, ha! What you're doing here is simply absurd. Absurd. You're right. I would have turned a blind eye if you had just rotted away out here in this little town. But this is your final warning. Shut this place down and resign your medical license. Hmm. Hey, buddy! Fuck off! Did you say, I told you to fuck off! <laughs> you seem to be quite fond of her. Perhaps I should reveal this woman's true identity. This woman's a monster who tortured a patient with unregulated medicine. Terrible, isn't it? You see, she was such a brave girl, always smiling. What does this mean? was she passed away <gasps> what perhaps you'll suffer the same fate <laughs> she is the plague after all buddy I told you to fuck off now get out of here <clears throat> don't lie to me she should still have some time she was slowly recovering her condition couldn't have deteriorated but it did she must have misjudged. You must have misjudged, excuse me. Now back to the reason why I'm here. 
Don't ever take another patient from me again. He killed her, I bet. You don't want to make me angry. Me, what chance, Dad? She's all I've been working toward all this time. Curing her was my only. There was no way. Don't lose hope. Let's get some details. What have I been doing all this time? What was even the point? I can't. Just rest for today. You're right. Sorry. I feel better. Thanks for your help, my little guinea pig. Decreases the price of items sold. Oh, ah! Uh. Right. <laughs> oh, 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 that I don't is helpful. Know what to say. We all do sometimes. <laughs> All right. Take care. Ah, you're back. A catchy's here. Up, EY. I'm going to do that. I just want to see what a catchy wants. Hmm. Yes, they are, I in see. fact. Where have you been? All I'll see you later. Head on over. Got a minute. All right. There's good. That's good for today. But there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about the secret Sudra mentioned. There's more to it than having than my having been in the Yakuza. I just want to make sure you don't go saying something stupid. If you run into Karo, Kar Kauru, I don't know. Back when I was working with Hashiba, with the Hashiba clan, some crazy lady came round our office. Must have been over ten years ago. She had this baby with her, and the whole time she was there, she kept going on about how she wanted to sell it. Oh my god. <sighs> She figured she was just cracked. I figured, figured she was just some cracked up junkie looking for drug money. But then I told her, but when I told her no, she sat the baby down and ran off. That baby is Kauru. <laughs> Thinking back on it, I'm still not really sure why I took him in. Not only did I have to leave the clan, but I'm stuck running the shop don't even like. Every day is an uphill battle. I still haven't managed to tell Karu I was in the Yakuza clan, though. You shouldn't lie to your son. Let me ask you something. How would you feel if you found out your parents were wrapped up in some dirty shit? I wouldn't like it, but I wouldn't like being lied to about it either. That's how my mom was. She'd spend every night drinking, running around to town with all sorts of guys. I couldn't stand to see her destroy herself like that. Often wished I could have someone else as my mother. So, I didn't want to make Karu grow, go through the same thing. I wanted to make sure he had a good childhood. That's why I left the clan. I did everything according to the code. But now Sudra is dragging me back in. Once he recommended I run this fake gun shop, he came by asking me to make custom models for him. 
Though he wasn't really asking, the bastard forced me into it by threatening to tell Karu everything. Truth is, Sudra's got all sorts of dirt on me. Not just on what happened when Karu was a baby, but on me and the rest of my family too. Who knows what it'd been if Karu learned the truth. Sudra isn't going to stop there though. I'm sure he'd go on and tell everyone else he could. When it's all said and done, he's going to try and take everything I have. Shit. If word gets out about my past, people are going to treat Karu like he's no different than me. After all, everyone knows shitty parents end up making shitty kids. Once he's got that stigma, he'll be stuck with it. When shit goes wrong, he'll always be the one who gets blamed. That's how it was with me. <clears throat> That's why I turned to the Yakuza. Nobody else would accept me. That's also why I can't let Sudra down. He's just got too much power. Calling the police wouldn't do you any good. You're a kind person, Ey. <laughs> Don't give me that exaggerated bullcrap. I ain't kind at all. Anyways, I was trying to stall Sudra with bullshit prototypes while I figure out a way to stop him. That bastard's real good at keeping his cards close to his chest. Plus, he caught wind of what I was trying to do and started keeping tabs on me 24-7. Thankfully, that's when you sh that's about when you showed up, kid. Sorry. Sorry for bringing all that shit down on the blue. You probably don't want anything to do with me after that, huh? I'll stick around for the guns. <laughs> You're seriously into this enthusiast shit? <laughs> hey, I like guns, what can I say? I like weapons in general. Swords, knives, guns, I collect weapons. Be it their mechanics, uh, manual action firearms, you know, good old lever action's my favorite. Uh, just the cultural influence in the designs of swords and spears and pole arms. I like weapons. I think they're fascinating. All right. Just remembered I never gave you a reward for that info. Hmm. How about I give you a discount on the special menu? That should keep you quiet for a while. <laughs> Pretty good deal, eh? And the hangman discount. Decreases the cost of gun customization. All right. Awesome. You should get home. Huh. My proficiency increased. And now I'm masterful. All right. Later. My appeal just keeps going on up and up and up. And now it's the free day. This is not important. Hey. Yes, yes. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5. As I... I don't even know why I bother with that one. As I send that calling card and go ahead and head on out to the palace. Fight the boss, get the treasure, steal the girl, all that good shit. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off. Thank you all for watching.